Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage the permissions on your Flatpak apps. So to start off, we need to install the Flat Seal program, and uh, to do that, we reopen this terminal, search for Flatpak, do Flatpak search, Flat Seal. You can copy the ID right here. Do sudo Flatpak install Flat Seal tag Y enter your password. It's going to look for everything it needs to get it going. And for this, it just needs the flat sale binary. And uh, we open up our app menu, flat seal, open it up. So now that it's open, we can see I've got quite a few Flatpak apps set up on my system. I use Ubuntu, so I could be using Snaps, but I actually prefer Flatpaks because they look nicer and integrate better with themes on the desktop. So one of the apps I use a lot is Slack. Now Slack can access the network, but let's say for some reason I don't want flat uh, I don't want the Flatpak version of Slack to ever communicate with the network. I can turn it off. If I don't want them to access my sound server or all of my devices like my webcam, I can do that and it'll automatically save it. And then that's all I got to do. And then if I open up Slack, it'll you know it'll reset the it'll it'll not have access to these certain things. Same thing for pulse effects, the equalizer that I use. I can disable things here like the X11, interprocessing communications, Wayland, pulse audio, pretty much turn all of them off. And why you'd want to turn everything off, I don't know. This is all about you managing permissions and if you want to mess with stuff like that. If you want to reset the permissions, you just click on the app, you click reset and it will auto reset. So like I said, if I go to the Proton Mail Bridge and I deny it network connectivity, but then I decide, oh no, I don't want that, it will reset. And it's that simple. That is how you can control your Flatpak permissions on Linux. Flatseal is a useful and interesting app, even if you don't find yourself thinking, oh gee, maybe I should disable network connectivity for Slack. You can always like disable Slack's, uh, you know, access to the webcam if you use Slack on your Linux PC, but you don't want them to spy on you. You can mess with that directly. Same thing for Telegram. You can turn off, let's say, GPU acceleration or sound if you don't want to use that, and it's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on how to manage Flatpak permissions, and I will see you in the next video.